The Memphis Open is one of the oldest and most prestigious tournaments on the ATP World Tour. The combination of a rich tennis history and a hometown feel ensure that when you get to Memphis, there's something magic in the air. Memphis is a very unique tournament stop. It's got so much history here in the Mid-South with really deep, rich roots. They've had the tennis greats, really the who's who of tennis has come through here. Boasting a strong field in 2015, including two-time defending champion Kane Shikuri, once again there'll be no easy route to the final. I like the facility here and I love the city here and uh, uh, I've been playing really well on indoors. I thought it was a great opportunity to play. It wasn't originally on my schedule, so you know, I'm very uh, uh, happy and fortunate that uh, Memphis uh, gave, uh, gave me the wild card. Like coming here, it's, it's easy going and it's, uh, you know, it's fun to play tennis, but it's also like a really fun week to kind of be here and hang out. Another reason the tournament continues to attract a great field year after year is the off-court atmosphere. It's good old-fashioned southern hospitality. What's great about the Memphis Open is that it truly does feel like a tournament kind of with a, a home atmosphere. You know, really the southern hospitality here is amazing. Everyone is so welcoming and inviting and warm. The community just wraps their arms around this tournament because that's what this town and this tournament stop is known for. And we want to make sure that continues as strong as ever. Being in Memphis with the southern hospitality, um, you know, the, uh, the people here and the staff here are, are exceptional. Uh, it's one of the reasons why, you know, I, one of the terms that I've never ever missed in my entire career. This year, a group of 50 players and coaches enjoyed a basketball match as the Memphis Grizzlies took on the Atlanta Hawks. Sam Querrey and Robbie Ginepri also took part in a free throw contest during the game. Keen not to miss out was John Isner, though sadly his performance didn't quite live up to his own high standards this time round. I started off well, made my first two shots, then after that it went a little bit downhill. I wanted to give uh, the whole crowd tater tots. I couldn't do that. Obviously the, the last one from half court, not going to make many of those, but uh, I was disappointed, disappointed in the uh, three-point shot. Top seed Kane Shakuri took time out to visit St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. He was joined by doubles team John Patrick Smith and Michael Venus as they met the children. For me, I get you know a lot of energy from them, and also it's uh, great to you know to hang out with you know those those people. It was you know a great experience for me. Back on court, starting the upcoming stretch of tournaments in the right way is key as the players look to build momentum. I feel every week's a great opportunity, right from the 250s all the way to the Grand Slams. Each one offers uh, you know, an opportunity to get out there and compete. And uh, you know, definitely come here with my sights on being here on Sunday and giving myself a, you know, a shot of winning the tournament. It's been you know, a great memory to winning two titles in a row and uh, it's, uh, hopefully I can do another one uh, this year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, going global. We're behind the scenes with all the action in Delray Beach, Marseille and Rio. And Kevin's closing in. After a run to the final in Memphis, we catch up with Kevin Anderson at home in Delray. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.